Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. New Windows 10 build to look at. This is build 18334 for Windows inside on the fast ring and on Skipperhead. If you're on fast ring, you notice the watermark has gone. I think it's actually gone for a while, but I can't remember exactly when. On Skipperhead, the watermark is still there. So uh, I've switched machines, so that's why I can't re remember exactly because I've been on Skipperhead for most of the time. Now on fast ring, no watermark on there. However, this isn't the finished build. But uh, we are getting close, probably April time, so uh, probably finished development end of February, March, and to release it in April. So what's new in this build? Well, actually, th there's very minor changes with this build. Microsoft are asking to test um, gaming with um, Windows, this build of Windows 10, by playing State of Decay. So they want you to... Um, install the Xbox Insider Hub. So there's the Xbox Insider Hub. So uh, you install that and then once you've signed in you then go in uh, to Insider Content and join State of Decay and you can play that and uh, record those experiences with that and log feedback if you've got any issues. Now, other than that the changes are all minor fixes improvement. Uh, they fixed an issue with uh, the taskbar icons going, going blank. They fixed issues with the cursor colour. They fixed issues with the keyboard predictions may not happen after uh, an upgrade. They fixed an issue with the colour picker, uh, signing settings, some Cortana settings. They fixed some screen layout issues as well in settings around updates. In the previous build, Microsoft added the ability to add, uh, use Windows 32 apps, desktop apps, in Windows Mixed Reality. So I've recorded a separate video on that. You can see that here on the digitallife.com and on our YouTube channel. So it's a really nice function. If you're into uh, virtual reality and mixed reality, then make sure you check out that. I've also documented all the changes with mixed reality as that. But back to this build, not a huge amount of changes, just a lot of fixes. There are still some known issues. I think there's about 10 known issues. Uh, still, the Creative Five cards are not working properly. They're still working on that. Launching games using anti-cheat software may trigger a uh, crash, green screen death. Some real tech SD card readers may not be working. An issue with magnifier and some real-time protection options for malware by its premium are not turned on. So, very close to the end of development in, in terms of new features. And uh, this looks pretty stable, this build. So this is available fast ring and skip ahead. I can't show any new other new features. If there were, I would, if there were new features, I'd show them. But I do like documenting this build. So thanks for watching this video. You can see more on the digitallifestyle.com, our YouTube channel, and you can reach me on Twitter at iStixon.